Welcome to my channel, The Psy9 Video Lesson. Click like, subscribe, and share. Enjoy watching. Babuhe. How to draw a Punnett square. Why are these plants called four o'clock flowers? Four o'clock flower has binomial name of Mirabilis jalapa, the marvel of Peru. It is the most commonly grown ornamental species of Mirabilis plant with variety of colors. Mirabilis jalapa was cultivated by Aztecs for medicinal and ornamental purposes. The flowers was called 4 o'clock because it is usually open from late afternoon between 4 and 8 o'clock. Flowers then produce a strong, sweet-smelling fragrance throughout the night then close for good in the morning. New flowers open the following day. Did you know that scientists can predict probability of inherited traits in offspring? Yes, they can use a Punnett square. So, what is Punnett Square? Punnett Square is like box that divided into four parts. This boxed figure is used to determine the probability of genotypes and phenotypes in the offspring of a genetic cross. Phenotype is the expression of the genes of a living organism. Example, height, color, sex. Genotype is the gene composition of a living thing or pair of two alleles. Example, XY, XX, WW both capital letters, and WW both lowercase letters. How to draw a Punnett square. Punnett square is divided into four parts. Each part has 25% a total of 100%. Phenotype, red flower with genotype RR2 capital letters. Phenotype, white flower with genotype of WW2 lowercase letters. How to draw a Punnett square. From the Punnett square, the phenotype of each possible genotype can be determined.
Based on the result of Punnett Square, the genotype of crossed red and white flowers are RW means 100% pink are being produced. Try to cross the two pink flowers. Allele is a different or the same forms of genes. Allele R is dominant allele represented by a capital letter while allele W is recessive allele by corresponding lowercase letter. Draw a Punnett square of two pink flowers. Challenge. Try to answer these questions. 1. What are the possible results if you cross pink and red flowers? 2. If you want to produce all red flowers, what are you going to do? 3. Write the genotype of each offspring. Thank you so much for watching.